hi hello and welcome once again to my channel my name is amadake welcome once again oh so today what do i want to talk about um what we saw somewhere last week where some two kids decided to take the life of another one well it didn't end there so we've seen another child basically bent um set fire to another young child about the same age about 10 years and we are seeing a lot of boys uh, get into this kind of crime basically committing crime at every turn but the question remains that why is it that boys are committing this crime or why is it so easy for boys in particular to commit this crime and the issues of how boys have been neglected over the years uh, come into focus for some time now I would say that society has basically neglected the boy child well, am I saying so? Because when you look at the girl child, we have a lot of programs that seek to deal with the girl child. Uh, female empowerment, we have a lot of training programs for them, uh, mentoring programs for them, and then the list goes on and on. But when you look at our boys, we basically have nothing for them. Uh, you see boys in traffic begging, uh, cleaning windscreens, etc. And nobody is bothered because they are boys and we do not care what happens to them at the end of the day. But if they were girls, would have been asking questions as to whether they, why they are not in school and what we can do to get them to school. So basically, I think that uh, with all the ills of society that is ongoing and then the neglect for boys uh, in our society of late, it's something that we need to look at. Well, when you look at the the landscape someone will say that over the years women have been neglected so we are trying to make up for it but in trying to correct an imbalance an injustice we are actually creating another injustice and creating another imbalance whereby boys are totally neglected um nobody cares about their well-being how they are doing but at the end of the day we expect that those boys grow up and become responsible men in the future and how this is possible i don't know so we need to go back to the drawing board and we need to look at how we can come out with means and ways reforms systems to keep those boys in school and give them the best education the best training uh, humanly possible so that they become responsible and good citizens one would say that we are punishing those boys for the sins of our forefathers because once upon a time in history uh, women were relegated to the background but even that when you look at our cultural settings right as Africans you realize that we had a lot of powerful uh, women it tells you that pre-colonial era women in africa or in ghana women of my tribe uh, were world placed in society were making decisions were at the forefront of every uh, thing that happens basically in those areas so i don't know where we went wrong i don't know why we adapted um, things that weren't suitable to us that we we as a people are not i don't know why we adapted to those behaviors and those belief systems but if you ask me it is time for us now look at the scenery very beautiful us now to go back to the drawing board and see how best we can correct those injustices because at the end of the day uh, when you ask yourself why uh, those boys thought that there was the need for them to kill someone else for money and they are not the only one nowadays we have a lot of people going missing so uh, some nurse went missing she has been found without her fingernails and without her tongues uh, uh, without her tongue only God knows what those parts of the bodies are being used for and there are a lot of missing people 
nowadays so we really 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 need to go back to the drawing board very important stop praising and stop talking about riches as much as possible and start investigating people that have uh, so much money all of a sudden without us knowing where they got that kind of uh, finance from or income from but also very important it's for us to be able to bring up our boy child very well um, and not pressure them into having money and, and if you do not have money it means you are useless no we shouldn't pressure these young ones into having money there are so many young ones going into gaming into betting into rituals you name it all because they feel pressured to have money right they see this artists the celebrities all over the place having money so they feel pressured so it's about time we look at that and then we correct this by paying very uh, close attention to what our boys are doing getting them off the streets getting them uh, from uh, walking along around gallivanting about aimlessly into the classroom so that we can actually um, have them change their ways because at the end of the day the ills that are going on in society the evils that are going on in society in the Ghanaian society we want an end to them and an end means that we provide our male kids the best education that there is and then the best training that there is thank you very much um, please continue to subscribe to my channel and um, let's keep the conversation going i think that's the most important thing let's talk about this uh, let's create awareness let's, let's raise the issues when we are talking with our friends our colleagues and let's make sure that we get this to the grassroots get kids get boys in particular back to school and give them the best training ever thank you very much and then have a pleasant uh, day right bye